Located a block away from the Science Museum of Virginia, it's a lesser-known project by its designer, the home of John Kerr Branch, which now serves as the Virginia Center for Architecture. Uh, the mission of the Virginia Center for Architecture is really to introduce the public uh, to architecture and design. The house was designed by John Russell Pope. It was completed in 1919, built as a private residence. It's 27,000 square feet. And between 1919 and uh, 2004, it was owned by different um, private and public um, institutions. And now it is the Virginia Center for Architecture, and we're about to celebrate our sixth anniversary here in the home. Today, however, John Kerr Branch's home and John Russell Pope's design not only house a glimpse at early 20th century architecture, but also provide us with a look back at Richmond's post-war development. Our programs really range from exhibitions, uh, special exhibitions that we bring in. We have about four a year that feature different aspects of architecture and design. Right now we have up architectural photography um, that's capturing American ruins from uh, the East Coast to the West Coast. The center, however, is also expanding these exhibits into the city itself through guided tours and lectures by invited guests. On October the 12th, we are featuring a tour of Richmond's Two Popes. Uh, we're going to take a very small group, about no more than 25 people, on a behind-the-scenes tour of the Science Museum of Virginia, take a look at some of the architectural features, and then come over here to the Center for Architecture where we'll do another behind-the-scenes tours and, and wrap up with a reception where you'll have time to ask questions of the architectural historian. That event is just one of several this fall hosted by the Virginia Center for Architecture that is not only showing off some great local art, it's also keeping Richmond's architectural legacy firmly on solid ground. This is Mark Newton from the VCU School of Mass Communications.